do you know why we even have an Antichrist mentioned to us in the book of Revelation or this beast from the sea? It's because the devil is such a failure. I remember when I first started reading the book of Revelation and I was so terrified and it just so frightened me. And then I would hear apocalyptic preaching and I was so terrified. Then I actually carefully read the book of Revelation. You know what I discovered? The devil is the biggest failure in the history of mankind, in the history of the universe, in the history of spirits, in the history of anything. He's a loser and a failure. Listen to the book of Revelation. Just go to chapter 12 of the book of Revelation alone. It says, it speaks of when, when this dragon is introduced to us, he wants to devour a child. Well, we know that this child is the Christ child. It says the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth when she bore her child that he might devour it. She gave birth to the male child, one who is to rule all nations with a rod of iron, but her child was caught up to God and to his throne. And in other words, the child escaped the devil's clutches. He went off, he went to heaven. And the devil failed to devour the child. So that's enough. But then you find the devil in heaven. Now war rose in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was defeated. And there was no longer a place for him in heaven. He couldn't devour the child. He couldn't keep his place in heaven. Well, then it says that the accuser of the brother was, uh, was thrown down. And it said that he was coming down to the earth and he had great wrath because his time was short. When it says he was thrown down, it says he pursued the woman but she was given wings of an eagle so that she could fly into the wilderness. It says he poured forth water like a river out of his mouth, but it says that the earth came to help the woman and saved her. And then it says he became furious with the woman and went off to make war with the rest of her offspring and those who keep the commandments of, of God and hold to the testimony of Jesus. We read in the third, uh, 13th chapter then that they overcome him. He can't devour the child. He can't stay in heaven. He can't apprehend the woman. He can't drown the woman in a flood of lies. And he can't get the woman's offspring. Loser, loser, loser. The dragon needs a lot of Antichrist because he can't accomplish the task on his own. Stop being afraid of the devil and take your stand in the name of Jesus. We'll be back with more.